Hello everybody. So today is Friday and it's my only day that I don't have school on the weekdays. But after this video blog, I get to go babysit. And then I've got other fun things I have to do today. My week is full of school, work, homework, babysitting. I've got a lot of obligations and responsibilities. And I know you do too. The mere fact that you're watching this video blog shows that you have impeccable character and taste and style and all that wonderful stuff. But you know, there are people out there who just don't really care about their responsibilities like we do. There are a lot of them. And you know what? They're taking a day off today. And they're going to be taking a day off next Friday, which is April 4 already. How ridiculous is that? There are 110 of these people. Yep, it's the Michigan House of Representatives. Apparently, Andy Dillon decided that they needed two weeks off for Easter vacation. Easter, by the way, was six days ago now. But apparently, they don't really have anything important to do. See, all the people I've talked to, if they could get Easter off, they're so happy. And those who got Good Friday off is just amazing. But apparently, the house just needs the free time, so they get it. Which makes me wonder, why do we have a full-time legislature again? I mean, they are always finding excuses to get a day off here and there, taking two weeks, like I said, for this one-day holiday, and they do it all the time. And then when they are in session, they do ridiculous things. For example, just recently, um, a few Democrats, uh, Lisa Wajno and Robert Dean and a few others, got together and introduced legislation to tell people in skyscrapers that they should turn off their lights because apparently birds are hitting the buildings. Birds, guys. If that's all we have to worry about, maybe we should take two months off for Easter vacation instead of just two weeks. But if Robert Dean would open his eyes, he'd realize that the unemployment rate in this state has gone up again. And maybe if he talked to a few normal people, he'd realize that everyone wants out of the state. Maybe the house should do something to fix that instead of worrying about all the birdies, however cute they may be.